Welcome back, everybody, to Throne and Liberty. Let's, um... Let's start the game. Today is our last stream before I go on to my trip to Vienna. So... Yes, I'm in the Infinite Three Guild, which is the sister build of the Infinite, uh, Guild. Just very nice. So, um, let's see here. Let's start by going to the Amitoy house, because they did the things. And, yes, this is an MMO. First MMO I play, I, I'm still doing the, like, player-oriented things. I, I just wanted to reach level 50. And, fuck off. Give me, give me. Alright, there we go. Uh, what time is it? I think we have... We can do two hours. Alright, so let's uh, bring these four guys for two hours. And there we go. They bring us resources. Very important, very nice resources that we all love. I am still amazed that this game hasn't had loading screens. I never thought I would see the day of a game with no loading screens. Anyway... Uh, where we left off yesterday, we wanted to go here. I just want to check my skills, because I'm level 34 now. And let me check some of these skills, because I think... Oh, wow. Yeah, we do have quite a few books for this. So let's upgrade these, these active skills. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, let's just bring some of these up to blue, blue tier. Come on. Alright, this one is not... Okay. Just making sure that I am getting the the right ones. Alright, this one turned out to be a really good skill, because it reduces uh, cooldowns. And that's a very, very nice thing. Okay. Um... Okay, that thing is not attacking me. For a second, I thought I was, I was the one being attacked. Okay. Let's bring... Let's start by bringing the rings to blue one. Ah, oh, 15 books right there. Then let's bring up... Oh shit, these are not too green five yet so let's bring these to green five and there we go i think we're out of books yeah we're out of we're out of green books let's start bringing some of these higher uh not yet not quite yet uh passive skills we do we are in a pretty okay slot for for the passive skills yeah we, we're gonna take care of this in a little bit Alright, uh, I did get the battle pass, and it turns out I finished it yesterday. It was very quick, so, uh, yeah. Oh, what is this? What is this? Zenith collection chest? I think I already have that in my... No? Is it in my inventory? Let me see. Growth, consumables, sundries... Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Is it because of the water? We can get the Xenos staff, which I think is a cosmetic. Greetings, Potato19. How you doing? You missed our reaction to Asmogold's apology video. That is going to go up to YouTube tomorrow, by the way. I'm going to be putting it up on YouTube tomorrow. Uh, yes, we're going to get this staff. Oh, we get two. Staff at one book, then yes. And I think, uh, where's the Mirror Boutique? Weapon Appearance. There we go. Oh, these look cool. These look cool. Look at that. And now we have it, do we? Uh, I don't think I saved it, did I? What? Yes. Ah, there we go. There we go. So now we should have it. I don't think we have any outfits, right? No, we don't. There we go. Look at that. Now it looks really cool. All right, let's continue what we were doing yesterday, which is the um, 
the we are we are hunting for a sandworm. Also, I changed my appearance to this uh, saber tooth tiger because looks better. Why? I I want it to be gray, but for some reason it's not giving me the gray one. I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we have to go all the way over here. So, yeah, hoping everybody is having a fantastic Thursday. I keep I keep almost saying it's Friday because you know I have tomorrow off. So, yeah. By the way, don't forget today is our last stream of the week because tomorrow I'm going to Vienna. Oh, I've been looking forward to this trip for a very long time because I finally get to go see a Mozart concert where Mozart premiered his um, his pieces. So I'm very, very hyped for this. All right, we have to go get... And we also need to do contracts. I need to do my daily contracts. Because I don't want to... I mean, it's not dailies. It's not dailies. Like, it's not that if I don't do them today, they don't get done. But I'm not going to be here over the weekend anyway. Either. All right. Crescent Moon Sand Crystal. Okay. We're all doing the same mission here, it seems. Oh yeah, I also changed my skin for the bird. Ooh, that poor bastard didn't make it. There we go. Very nice. And then... Oof. Come on. Up a little bit. Up here. And there we go. A white crow? Those exist? In this game, apparently. Look at that. Ooh, who's a good white little bird? Yeah, very nice. Okay, now that one. Um. <laughs> We're both trying to figure it out. Let's see, is, is what he's doing gonna work out? It does not seem like it. Yup. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna try going back. No, because I don't think jumping from here and landing there is an option. Let's just try going this direction first. Oh, wait. Aha! Okay, so it did work. Wait. How many more do I need to get? Okay, there we go. We got, uh... How many more do I need to gather? Just tell me how many do I need to get? Oh, shit. Come on. Fuck you. <laughs> that did not work, but whatever. Alright, let's recover our... ...to consider not only the size of the sand particles used for the pure elemental fusion stone, but also whether they contain their own impurities. Okay. Uh, we might need to warp here. Very fine particles. Six thousand, seven thousand gold, though. <sighs> but I don't know how to make it back. I mean, we'd have to exit and... No, it's just... Fuck it, let's just go. Yeah, it's a way shorter. It's worth it. Oh, and we're level 35. Shit. Alright, let's make it to the waypoint, and let's check this. So, we can't level up our wisdom yet. Okay. Let's uh, go for more perception, then. More hit chance. Uh, and are there any new skills? I don't think so. I think the next one is 36. Oh, no, we have a new passive, uh, passive skill slot. Uh, for now, let's see. Additionally, decreases movement speed for weakened effects. No. I have this one. We have this one. We have this one. Mana amp. Yes, we do. 
flame condensation, we do have it. Let's see. Taking skill damage has a 20% chance to increase healing received. Amitui healing and potion healing by 8%. Stacks up to 5 times. I'm okay with this. I'm okay. I think this is good. Skills, heal. Because mm. right now we have this one, which is Vampiric Contract. And we have increases healing by 16%, increases cooldowns by 10% during the day. And then differently for the night. Okay. Let's grab Saint Oath. Let's level it. Let's level it up. Bring it up to level three minimum. There we go. Nice. That was a single book. One. Very nice. Let's bring it up to level four. Lucky. Very lucky. All right. Excellent. So we have a twenty percent chance to increase things. By quite a bit. Alright, so we're almost at full build here. Nice. Uh, leveling log. Okay, it's just telling us, oh, you can do this now. We have the secret dungeons, which we should do. We have more battle pass, which don't matter right now. So Let's just get back to what's her face. And let's get uh, to it. Let's get this sand out of my way. Let's get the sandworm. Let's go talk to Josephine. Jose Josephine? Josephine. How do we soft J or hard J? I don't know. Uh -huh. Alright, here we go. I've been waiting. Did you get the materials yet? <laughs> the cobra. It's just... I got the materials. I went into those canyons. Not very pleasant. We need to make it quickly before impurities corrupt the materials. First, we grind the moonlit sand crystals and spread the dust on a heated plate. Then we infuse the wind element. Yeah, 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 whatever. It to complete the pure <laughs> elemental fusion stone. The cobra. Now we engrave the like, at least this shows that this is an engine. In the device. And not a pre-rendered cutscene. It's a success. <laughs> oh. Here we go. This is the device for luring Queen Belandia. Install the device wherever you want and then press the remote control button. Afterward, the level of mana around the device will increase to the maximum limit. Queen Belandia okay. will sense the power and make her way there. Nice. Now... Here's how to operate it. Would you mind having a look at the device? Let's examine the device. Queen Belandir luring device. This is the Queen Belandir luring device made by Josephine. It's lurk, big lurk. Uh, it's a bit bulky, but it looks sturdy. Let's try to unlock the safety device. It's a detonator. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Like I mentioned, I made the device for luring Queen Belandia so it can be controlled remotely. I love how we basically just used the device here. Queen Belandia will appear soon after pressing the button, so make sure you find yourself someplace safe before using it. Well then, I wish you good luck. Having finished crafting the pure elemental fusion nice. stone, the device for luring Queen Belandia was complete. Do we have any... After installing the device, you press we the button of the remote here. control to amplify the mana emitted and attract Queen Belandia. The remote control must be operated at a minimum safe distance gold. from the device. Yeah, we need to operate this on a safe distance. You heard the, um, the narrator. Oh yeah, is the bug for okay? There was a bug earlier today because there was a uh, a big patch, and there was a bug that um, <laughs> that all the guilds were gone. Basically, how many people are online? Um, 
I'm the only person online right now in my version of the guild, because I'm in the mini guild. Uh, let's donate some money. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's go. Um, let's go set up a trap for a massive sandworm. Well, that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Oh, yeah, no, we have to go talk to Marcia first. And then we get to start setting up the trap and everything. Okay. Okay, let's go. Alright, please tell me she's down here now. Yes, she is. Marcia! What you here this time? I have the perfect Queen Belandia luring device. We can lure Queen Belandia with that device? Really? That's what I said, if yes. that's true, I can catch her right now. Yeah, let's go. The text says let's nab her right away. That's what it says. Most members of the raid group are at the sandworm hatchery oh, right now. If we want to catch Queen Belandia, we need them to return so we can attack together. What can I do? My troops are currently working to reduce the number of sandworms. They won't come back until they achieve their objective. If you get out there and help them with their mission, they'll be able to come back sooner. It's up to you. So you're telling me I can go... kill sandworms? Everyone is bringing their very best to this mission. Everything we learn along the way is recorded in the operation plan back at camp. Okay. Read the operation plan at the Eastern Gathering Campsite. I'm sure it'll help that's, you too. I think that's where we were just at. Upon learning about the luring device, Marcia yeah. wanted to catch Queen Belandia immediately. However, in order to do so, a full-scale offensive involving the entire Sandworm raid group is needed. And most Let's of the, the city. are already active in the Sandworm hatchery. Uh, can I get Marcia's contracts here? Marcia's troops need help to finish the job and return quickly. No, just the coin merchant, but I want the actual contracts. Really? No contracts here? No contracts here. Okay, uh, let's go to the other city then, because this one actually has contracts. Yeah, here we go. Contract manager. Let's just go grab some contracts. Then we come back, because some of these are like, kill some of the local fauna. And we can do that more easily. And if we're going to do it anyway, we might as well. So let's uh, go grab some contracts from the contract manager, Grimo. And also, I heard that the patch allows us to buy... Okay, we're gonna check up oh, something else, but let's see. Uh, about the Sanctuary Oasis. Uh, you look like a fully go to Dalevin at the Sanctuary Oasis. They've been Alright, let's see the objectives. Here are today's contracts. Okay. Alright, let's refresh. Let's see what we can get. We can get some good rare parchment. Oh, we can get this. Shit. Accept. Accept. I'm not even reading what we need to get. Let's see. I just want the best possible contracts that give me the most weapon XP. There we go. There. Excellent. Fantastic. And I did read that there were some things available now. Is it at the Sundries Merchant? No. The soundtrack, dude, goes so hard for this being the desert town that just exists there. What the fuck? Oh. No. All right. Sundries Crafter. I need better stuff. Friend, Shit. If you need a weapon, you can Fuck it, stop. What kind of weapon are you looking All right. for? Uh, I'm looking for... I need... Okay, so it's just enchanted ink. So they had... Okay. 
So we need level 50 for the enchanted ink so that we can actually craft the staff that I want. Okay. Because we have all the other materials. We just need the blank lithograph, which can only be acquired from contract coin merchants. But the contract coin merchant that we have says that we're too low level. I think it unlocks at level... Let me check, because I think it's either level 40 or 50. And we're only level 35 right now. So, let me check. Let's see. It is level... 50. It's cheap. It's 10 uh, contract coins. So... At least there's that. We have something to look forward to. All right, let's go to get that. Uh, let's go help people kill some sandworms. I think. I think. I hope. All right, let's uh, go see the operation plan. Is it in here? Yes, it is. There is a record of Marcia's operation. The goal of the operation is to reduce the sandworm population. Let's examine the plan. Sandworm call operation. Discovered a case where the body fluid star of starving ants reduced sandworms' desire to breed. Procure body fluid and store it in a jar. Saw a starving ant near a blood mushroom in the sandworm lair. The number of ant holes were found deep in the sandworm lair. So we are just calling the ant. Okay. 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 Defeat the starving ants and come out of the ant holes. We're going the wrong way. No, we're going the right way. There's some sandworms around here too. Spiders, spiders, sandworms, rhinoceros. We're looking for the ants. Here we go. There should be some around here. Ant hole. And it spawns us a giant ant. Fuck you. We are ruthless. Worker spiders. Oh dear. We're going down there. Shit. Let's get that arm, ant, ant hole. There we go, and... There we go, we got the stuff we needed. What else we need now? We need to fill the jar of ant eye core. Okay, we need to go back to camp, which is another 4,500... Oh my god. They make traveling expensive for a reason, I guess. Okay. Oh, my wallet! <laughs> my wallet, dude. Okay. It's a jar for collecting ant body fluid. It's a little, it's a little over half full. Let's pour the ant body fluid you gathered. The jar is full. Better let the other resistance members know. Mm -hmm. We better. Let's ride on the operation. Secure Nike. Oh my god. Uh, I think it was one more, and you could probably influence from is right down the other. Starving blood ants, yeah. I sent some on the last page. I didn't see their messages left by resistance, hoping a successful operation. Let's get rid of the sandworms. If it doesn't work, we die. All of them are hoping the success. Okay. Let's go see Marcia then. Regularly carries out operations to reduce the sand. We're almost level 36. Nice. Once these begin, all but essential members of the squad. Okay, we're gonna walk our way through because look, our contracts area. Frigzy, welcome to today. How you doing? The squad members to come back is to help them complete their operation yeah. quickly. Because look, we have all the contracts here. 
did Reginald reestablish the relationship with his father? Uh, kind of. We're helping, um... We're helping eradicate the existence of a bunch of sandworms. We are helping a local, um... Resistance group carry out what I can only, uh, Describe as a sandworm genocide. So... Good thing. Yeah. There we go. And now we are just, you know, culling the, um, the populations of some of the animals around here. Because, you know, they deserve it. <laughs> oh, you missed the, um, our reaction to Asmongold's apology. But it will be up on the YouTube channel tomorrow. By tomorrow, I, I mean, because I'm probably going to upload it before I go to bed tonight. Okay, there we go. You watch it today? Yeah, and I we did a whole ass reaction. Like, hour and a half reaction. Because we went through every single point he made, and then some. So. Mr. Armadillo. Mr. Cobra. If you could please... Mr. Lizard, Mr. Other Lizard, Mr. Other Armadillo, if you could all please just group up nice and together. Close enough. There we go. There we go. And you. Shit. There. Very nice. Very smooth. It's gonna be on YouTube. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on YouTube because we just we just finished doing it like, well, just finished like 45 minutes ago. But yeah, we did it. We did it earlier today. We did a, a full reaction, addressing everything. Uh, I'm I'm really happy to see that Asmon is finally taking steps towards improving his life. That's my biggest takeaway of it. So, God, I love when they just blow up. We go. How many more do we need? A lot. So we're fighting our way through the desert. He really needed the change. Yeah, he needed. And and I think, and out of all the things that could have woken him up, I think it, this is probably among the better ones. Way better for him to just have been woken up by people calling him out online, than him getting like. I don't know what's what's a disease you get when um, when you're exposed to black mold for too long. You know that kind of thing. Shit. Ah, jeez. Ah, fuck. Like there are a lot of diseases you can get, but there's like this really bad one, lung cancer. There's lung cancer. Um, there was a was it black lung? No, I think that's for something else, right? I, I think that's something that's for something completely unrelated. Um, but yeah, it's like, thankfully it's this, because with this he has vowed to change other things in his life. Yeah, I don't, I don't know either. And I'm not gonna, not gonna look it up right now. We're, we're in the middle of, we are in the middle of eradicating, um, somewhat innocent creatures' lives. So, uh, you know, we be doing what we be doing. Okay, that's one contract. Uh, we need... Wild herbs, which are somewhere over there, which we're not gonna do right now. We need one more spineback lizard. No, we need five more spineback lizards. What? Yep, four more. But we might. Um, okay, there's another one over there. Because right now we're just in the process of doing contracts. Mr. Lizard, please. Mr. Other Lizard, please. Come on. There we go. Uh, we need two more. So I might just venture a little bit here. Because then our last contract is just gathering, so that should be fine. Alright, here's one. And there's the other one. Let's go attract this one's attention. 
There we go. Black row and... Ha 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 ha! Masterfully done, if I could say so myself. <laughs> yes, I did a mustache twirl. Oh, and we got to level 36. Look. Uh, that means we got one of the newer skills. Okay, before we talk to Marcia, we're gonna check... Uh, first, we're gonna level up. That was quick, though. That was fast, man. That was fast. I'm not used to leveling this fast in games. Alright, um... Bring up strength. No, let's bring up um, perception. Reginald has the is the star thrower. Yup, he is the bringer of suns. Oh, looky, looky! Strikes a target with lightning. Ooh, I want to try this. And what is this? Grants a shield that absorbs damage. Oh, hell yeah. Need those vases. Let's do this. Um, Upgrade. We fucked up. Okay. We can't even... Got it to green too. Fuck. I fucked up. What we can swamp? No. Okay, I just want to try this skill. Uh, so let's go kill something that would be otherwise innocent. Uh, strike with lightning. Ooh. 25 second, 27 second cooldown. Ooh, okay. Uh, it's target skill, target uses burning damage. Can this be charged? Let's check the, um, the mastery. What do we got here? Casting time is added, and judgment of lightning can be casted without any casting time. Yes. Damage transfer, damage transfer. Hmm. Let's target his movement speed. Oh, we can set up mines with this one instead. Okay. Uh, cooldown. So we might get rid of the barrage, but uh, damage transfer. So it's basically the same as chain lightning. It's for grouping enemies, yeah. It's almost the same as the chain lightning, except it deals a hell of a lot more damage. So if that's the case, we're just gonna replace them. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Because we are replacing the Fireball Barrage, and if we're replacing the Fireball Barrage, we might as well use these other ones for these other... Chain Lightning. Oh. Okay, let's try this combination instead. Let's try this combination instead. Alright. Oh, okay. Okay, so the um Okay, we're going to we're going to try this again. Let's just get used to the uh to the lightning. There's still that's a big cooldown, so we might we might change things around. Let's see. And in the meantime, let me check uh skill specs. Increases damage this one. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, lightning. Okay, so we can cast it multiple times. With this. Okay. So what we're gonna do then... We're gonna move these skills around. So we're gonna put the lightning as kind of like our biggest attack. And we are going to... Ice Spear Bombardment. Yes, we're not going to put the Chain Lightning, but we're going to give the Ice Spear Bombardment more damage. 
And yeah, this one is gonna stay as the chain lightning that it is. And we're gonna not I'm gonna reduce the mitigation of damage. There we go, and we still have four more. Um Inferno wave. It's good to reduce cooldown. So let's reduce the cooldown. Excellent. And then... Yep, so the second time around we can cast it without... Okay, good. CP. Lenny Specs. Uh, not that great right... Not that great right now. Stop that. Hang on. One second. It's a... Can you not? I'm trying to run a show here. There we go. Uh, right now, CP 1,254. Fair no Meteor sounds good for level 50. It sounds like an awesome skill, yeah. Yeah, I'm very new, so we're only level 36. You can't see that right now, so 1,254. Like, we're in a newbie guild kind of thing, so... Lenny Specs, welcome to the Mosh Pit. Thank you for the follow. How you doing? Welcome to today, by the way. Welcome to today. Yeah, I'm just leveling. This is my first MMO, like proper MMO, ever. So, I'm uh, I'm still learning the ways. You know, I joined a guild. What do we got? We're making plenty of mistakes, and uh, yeah. Right. We still have to have that last. Uh, keep grinding. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks Especially because I don't. Because I'm the not going to be here in the weekend until the Sunday, time. so. So what's the plan? Says Reginald R. Peterson. We've set so many traps for Queen Belandia already. I'm enjoying the story, actually. She wouldn't be able to escape us once caught. But no matter how long we waited, she never showed up. Oh. But with the luring device you brought, we'll be able to attract her there as planned. I'll go set this device up in the planned location. We will go set up this so that the bell so that the queen can go into the belly of the beast and reestablish the relationship with its father. Okay. Fuck. I marked the location on the map. You can go there, find the chest in the center, and install the device. Okay. Marcia and her group had already set up a trap in the hopes of oh, catching right here. Queen okay, Belandia. Good. Unfortunately, it had proved useless, with the queen never uh -huh. showing up at it. With the new nice, very nice, device, very nice. however, she could be attracted to the trap and captured as planned. Okay, so the trap is just like the 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 kid that sacrificed himself to kill a uh, like the wolf demon. It's just a bunch of bombs. I love it. Large bomb chest. It's a large, heavy chest. A faint smell of gunpowder emanates from within it. Let's open the chest. There is an empty space inside the chest that contains the explosive. It seems that Marcia prepared it to ins uh, prepared it to insert the luring device. Let's set up the luring device carefully. <laughs> luring device is set. Oh, I thought it would have some sort of like do it careful. The place Marcia mentioned <laughs> was filled with bombs and gunpowder. Yeah, I don't want to attack this thing with a. Uh... Kill Queen Belandia. Even the fearsome beast would struggle to survive if caught there during the blast. The luring device okay. was installed in a chest. That doesn't look like too many bombs, unless it, we're expecting it to swallow the bombs. In which case, yes. Alright, let's go. Ugh, you make me go up there, really? I have to go do the... I have to... Okay. <laughs> it's not a big deal. All right, what do we got? Back. We're all set here. Shall we begin the operation? Here's the remote control. This is going to set you up to go to the belly of the beast, so be careful. It's time to reestablish the relationship with your father. If we press this button, Queen Belandia will show up over there, right? Yes, the beast from which you have to go to the belly of. Oh, hang on, I need to um do a thing on my phone. One second. I just got the reminder. And if I don't do this, I'm in trouble. So. One second, one second, one second. 
because otherwise, because I want to avoid getting into trouble. Because, you know, not being in trouble, very nice thing. Very nice to not be in trouble. So, withdraw. 250. There we go. Alright, excellent. Where were we? Yes. Ah, uh, the entire resistance of this area. That's a bigger remote control than I expected it to be, yeah. Legally distinct from the Good ones in Doom. Because these use mana, not percussion. Legally distinct sandworm. <laughs> I love the way he looks. So stupid. It's angry! <laughs> Diablo Z up. It still upsets me. It's Diablo's PTSD. Yep. Yep, I know what you're talking about. Don't tell me that was it. What, what, that was it? No, 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 no. Morcia pressed the button on the remote switch. Queen Belandia charged. Her fierce attack was cut short when she stopped in the middle of the trap and took flight. Determined to bring her down, the raid group let fly every arrow they had. The enormous sandworm was engulfed in an explosion that many arrows. as the gunpowder chest caught fire but managed to escape. Maybe he will be a world... Might be a world boss later, yeah. She, because it's a queen, okay? Might not look like it, but it's a queen. <laughs> Alright, we're level 37. Alright, let's see. So many tries. I finally dealt her a critical blow. We may not critical blow? Her, but we'll finish her off next time for sure. Thank you. We couldn't have done this without you. I should probably tell you now. This was a request from your father. You have... Technically ventured to the Valley of the Beast, you blew it up. And now it's time for you to re-establish the relationship with your father. What do you mean? My father passed away a long time ago. Yes, and then he came back as a ghost. After he went down into the Valley of the Beast, but he has no father. He exhibited fatherless behavior. Let's not talk about that. My father... Really told you to? How is this possible? Don't ask me. I don't want to catch Queen Belandia just because I'm captain of the Sandworm Raid Group. I want to catch her because I am Marcia Richel, daughter of Glenn Richel. I. Yes, you are your father's daughter. That's kind of point I was making. Every time I felt discouraged by our failure to kill the beast, I looked to my father's name carved upon the victim's stone to steal my resolve. Soon, I will be able to fulfill his wish. He didn't mention anything about that. What do you mean? My father always wanted our family to live together in a safe place. I'm going to rebuild our family home. A place with so many happy memories. Hopefully with my brother's help. Despite our falling out. So, if you see my father again, tell him to stop worrying about me. Go and tell him yourself! We will kill Queen Belandia soon. Then we won't have to carve any more names onto the victim's stone. It's my first time hearing about victim stones. Sounds, uh... Sounds like some Twitter victim culture bullshit. It is a monument bearing the <laughs> names of Queen Belander's many, many victims. My father's name is carved on it too. Right down there. I hope you'll go see it. I won't. Marcia succeeded in critically injuring <clears throat> Queen Belandia. 
Okay. And felt confident that the next battle against her would be the last. When so she learned all of this stem from her ghostly father. Oh, there's request, a victim stone. She was filled with bittersweet gratitude. Above all, she Okay, it's just a recap. Okay, so you're telling me that you want to live in a safe place and they want to rebuild your home, which was around here, when you have a nice, beautiful, walled off city in the mountains right to the east of a west from where you are and to the south you have this giant castle maybe the castle is not the greatest idea but you have to the west this big ass just city that you could come live in and if that's not to your liking you go further west and there's this beautiful castle town like just kind of place and you're telling me that you want to build your house in the middle of a desert instead and that's why you're fighting the sandworm you come to its territory to fight it so that you can build your house around its territory where there's barely any water barely any food when you have these two massive beautiful towns right fucking there God, I love MMOs and their logic. All right, what do you want, Bonjour? Oh, uh, do you have business in Lassland by any chance? I was there recently, so I could pass through again. Then I'd like to ask you one last favor. If you are ever in Lassland, please pay a visit to my brother. His name is Mark Richhill, and you'll find him on duty at the Lassland Watchers Post. Mark and Marcia. Marcia. Creative. Thank you. Give him this picture when you find him, will you? It's like... Tell him I want to rebuild on our old property after I've settled the score with Queen Belandia once and for all. I had a classmate once. Her name is Renata. And she had a little brother. He's like a couple of years younger than her. And his name is Renato. It was the funniest shit to me. It was the funniest shit to me. Their pa that, that's like some... Th that's like 10 out of 10 parents. Especially because... The difference between an A and an O... I don't... It would have been hilarious if one of them had been dyslexic. <laughs> that's not a letter, that's a map! Oh no, that's a letter. That's a picture. And my hat is blocking most of it. <laughs> it appears to be the house that Marcia lived with her father and brother. Let's take a closer look. I'm getting blocked by my hat. <laughs> it depicts Marcia's father, Glenn, after repairing the roof. It looks like the entire house was maintained under his care. I can't do it. <laughs> There's got to be another point to find something. <laughs> okay, the picture shows Marcia and her brother climbing the tree in the yard. You can imagine how much fun Marcia's childhood would have been just by looking at it. Uh, let's try looking at the back. The hat, dude. On the back of the picture, there's a short message written by Marcia. You could have just put this in an envelope, you know? Like, I, I, you're okay with me reading this? Uh, the parents got tired halfway through naming. Yeah. The picture that Marcia oh, asked it skipped you to it. deliver okay. to her brother was a sign of her deep and aching longing Let's, for her family. Um, it showed her childhood home bring where she and her siblings had many good times with their father Glenn before he lost his leg mm -hmm. after slaying Queen Belandia it and is Marcia's dream to rebuild 37. the I don't think there. there's anything unlocked over here we do have an, another couple of um, master of spec points which we should probably use for uh, this one uh, not this one uh, this one 
Three times in a row. Have you played Hearthstone? I played it for a little bit many years ago. I liked it, just not that much. <laughs> Alright, let's move it from here and so we can use three times in a row. There we go. That's that's better. Additionally restores users health equal to 50% of recovery. Ooh. 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 Can be used without any casting time. So if I take five points here and five points from here. Okay. Okay, now. Um, increased radius? No. No. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, today I played Warhammer 40k Warp Forge. It's really similar to Hearthstone, but I like it better. Really? Okay. 40k has a Hearthstone like game. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I remember playing it. Um, it's pay to win, but it's very. Every every Terry card game is pay to win, yeah. Like, I played a little bit of uh, Hearthstone, a little, played a little bit of Magic the Gathering. Um, never quite. Um, a stone yeah. engraved with the names of all those killed by Queen Belandia. Rests on one Never could get the past the pay to win aspect of it because if there's anything that is pay to win, is that officially identified victims. Yeah. So it is impossible to guess. Check the infinity wheel. Let's check cutscene. Time for Queen Belandia, the invincible, the all consuming. No one had ever even so much as scratched the fearsome beast. Mm hmm. Enter the Order of the Swan, a small-time guild hired by the Resistance to help gather okay. sandworm poison sacks. Okay. There's a... Uh... While the Resistance soldiers were mopping up the sandworms, they were suddenly dragged into the sand beneath their feet. Oh, no. One of the swans, Rowan, fell into the vortex. Oh no, little swan. All at once, Queen Belandia reared up, writhing in pain. Mm. Rowan had morphed into a violet phoenix and burst free from Queen Belandia's carapace, freeing everyone trapped inside. Metal? To this day, the mere sight of a human touched with malvescence is enough to violently enrage the mighty beast. Oh. Yeah, I would be pissed about it too. Among those she devoured that day, Congratulations. Rowan, who possessed the power of a star fragment. Oh, nice. Rowan transformed into an ethereal violet phoenix and burst through her tough character. Chapter 7 completion package? Yes, nice, this very was nice. The Thank first you. time Queen Belandir experienced such pain, and she fled in surprise. Nice. So we got uh, a few more materials. Nice. Very nice. So nice! Very nice, you wouldn't believe it, folks. We have so many more conversion skills, booklets. I played Hearthstone at the early days of it. I have way uh, more time put into it. Yu-Gi-Oh! Put it to Yu-Gi-Oh! Sometimes it's so BS. The end effects, new cards are too much. Sometimes six, seven rows text for the effect. I love, yeah, I played some Yu-Gi-Oh! as well, and I loved it. Like, I watched the first anime. I had some of the very early decks. My... I, I love how there are some cards that are like do this combination of cards like do this combination and you win this turn but pot of greed is banned <laughs> got having three effects that each of them is broken yeah it's it's insane it's insane how bad Yu-Gi-Oh is but you know pot of greed is banned <laughs> oh makes no goddamn sense all right, next up, we have the Watcher's Post. We're going over the way here. No, this is Appendix. Okay, let's go finish our last contract. We have to speak with Mark at the Appendix over here, the Watcher's Post. Then we have Cook a Fish Steak. We need a lot more fish than that. 
Oh, final reward for chapter seven. Ooh. I don't want any of them. I don't want any of them. <laughs> Have you seen? Yeah, I've seen pendulum cards. They are insane. I, they're they're absolutely insane. Like I did play um, whatever the latest video game was. I learned the mechanics, and they're cool mechanics, but everything is so fucking broken. Everything is so fucking broken. Uh, hit chance, weaken chance, hit chance, collision chance, critical. Uh, increase. Ah, uh, let's grab these, might as well. Okay. Chapter 8. On reaching level 38, you can begin the Adventure Codex. So we need to level up to 38. We're almost there. Uh, let's go do our last bit over here. Let's grab this view. Yeah, no, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! has devolved into something unrecognizable. Like, I remember watching a video explaining the whole thing, like, how unbelievably ridiculous it is to get into Yu-Gi-Oh! nowadays. And that was, like, three years ago. <laughs> So, uh, not very conducive anymore for new players. Like, it's it's banking on a lot of nostalgia. I did hear that some of the newer animes for Yu-Gi-Oh! were really good. Like, GX was good, 5Ds was good, but then, um, one of the later ones was really, really good. Like, legit good. So, who will OTK, uh, right, OTK, like, zero turn KO. Um... The other, or who will take the other guy and able to play the game, which is basically just Magic the Gathering um, control blue deck. Because that is an issue in Magic. Like, that's one of the reasons why I stopped uh, playing, because there are some mechanics that are like. Uh, I remember playing with, uh, with a friend who would play Poison, a Poison deck, which was basically you can't block the attacks, you can't damage his um, creatures. Without getting where the where the fuck are my fucking herbs? You can't attack the enemies uh, because if you attack, you build a uh, poison uh, poison stacks, which cannot be reduced, which cannot be um, evaded, and it cannot be healed. And if you stack, I think it was ten poisons, you lose. If you attack an enemy that has poison, you build a poison stack. Uh, if you attack a creature that has a poison, build poison stack. If you deal damage to another creature, it builds poison stack. It was like some of, one of the most ridiculous mechanics I've ever seen. I was like... Completely ruins even the idea of the game. And then there's like the blue control deck. That yes, your opponent plays one turn. And then in the next turn, you just spend two and a half hours destroy it, preventing the player from doing anything. Interactive gameplay. Yup. Basically. Okay, that's two. We need one more. One more, and we, we, then we get the fuck out of this desert. There it is. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's eradicate these two. There. And there we go. We got our final contract done. Let's um, use up these because that's uh, 50,000 more training points. I don't even know how many training points we need for, for the next level, but we got this. We got these gloves, which we could put on because that's a lot more defense. We just lose some of our max mana. Not that much. Yeah, let's put them on. Uh, let's put them on. There we go. Alright, let's uh, head over to... This place over here. Ruins of Twin. What level is this? 50. Yeah, let's not... Uh, shit. Wrong button. Let's not go straight to the level 50 area. Uh, let's go to this over here, because I don't think there are many other missions we can do right now. So let's just go here. 1,500! Yeah. 
Remember there was a meta in Yu-Gi-Oh! before it was a deck who needs to go first and banish four out of five cards the opponents have in his hand and have three negates on the board and if the other guy doesn't have like one or two specific cards he loses that's ridiculous that's so ridiculous and yeah it's yeah that's just how Yu-Gi-Oh be nowadays and it's absolutely ridiculous suffer the lightning <laughs> do you think that may have been overkill I don't think so I don't think so. <laughs> what events do we have? So in 20 minutes, we have some of these events. I'm not going to join any of them. This is possible today because the up they update ban list every three months. Every three months. That's insane. I thought I thought they... Holy shit. How often do they release new cards? Because if they're updating the ban list every three months, that means they're either releasing cards that fast or they fucked up that bad. Neither looks well for... for it's Konami. It's Konami, so I'm not surprised that they would lack the foresight. And ruin a once wonderful game. Not surprised there at all. Sometimes they unban cards. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I know that. But part of greed. Still too much. Still too much. That was one of the first cards to ever get banned, right? Because then you have like the billion other pots that have all the other different effects, which some of them make sense. And are like a bit more counterbalanced. Potogreed is great, yeah! Potogreed is great! Just draw two more cards. And that's it. Simple. Simple, and I love that in the anime they have to explain every single time what it does. It's so good, I love it. <laughs> Don't forget everybody, um, Monday we're gonna continue Silent Hill 2. a lot of people here the ground is dug up right the patrol manager told me that earlier okay without co yeah without any added cost yeah it's like uh the black lotus in magic the gathering the, ritual of the, the most expensive orcs, card in the, the game festival of fire greatly amplifies their aggression in the past travelers passing through here during the festival were frequently killed by the orcs Orcs. Saddened by the deaths. Orcs, 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 orcs. the orc villages in order to prevent future loss of life. Like, usually not for effect that draws two cards, you need to banish a card or something like that to draw two. Makes sense, yeah. Like, they put a counterweight to it. Oh, we have contract managers here as well. Ah. Uh, we're not good enough for this yet. All right, we've got storage. Oh, we got storage. Let's uh, quick deposit. Excellent. Uh, let's release and let's put the fish in. All right. Let's see. Okay, so we have to come into this camp. You yeah, know, and then there's the. Black Lotus, because th the funniest thing is that Pot of Greed is such a powerful card, they ban it, and it's still a, it's a fairly common card. Black Lotus on Magic the Gathering. I don't know if you've ever played Magic the Gathering. The effect is so simple, and it's so overpowered for the decks. The card it's how much does a Magic the Gathering, how much does a Black Lotus go for? Um... Check. The gathering by singles. Oh, it's super expensive. Yeah, like that's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to check here. Uh, let me see. I'm just looking for a. Uh, okay, change region. I, I just want to check. Like, let's check in euro. 
Okay, so I have David Adams over here. Let's search for Black Lotus. No results. Uh, sale magic card collection. Accept all. Buy cards. Uh, I just want to... How much does a Black Lotus cost? Yeah, it's one of the earlier... Yeah. In According to Wikipedia, in 2013, a high-quality copy of the card sold on eBay for $27,302. In 2021, a copy of the card signed by Rush sold for $511,000. In 2020, two Post Malone bought a signed artist proof of the card for $800 thousand dollars inflation dude uh, uh no angolul eighty thousand dollars one other person has this in their cart. Eighty thousand. It's that's the listed price. Let's see. Black Lotus artifact. No way. Four euro? What collection is this from? This is not the original. Yeah, it's the old print that is super expensive because it's the old print. Yeah, old prints always sell for a lot. Yeah. Um, result Korean average price is 12,000 euro. Yeah, this one is probably asking a little too much. Look for Blue Eyes, White Dragon and Legends of Blue Eye First Edition. All right. Uh... Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Legends of Blue Eyes, First Edition Price. Eighty nine thousand euro. That's the listed price. And we see it range... I had this version of the card. I don't know if it was first edition, though. 1,000, and it's graded. I, I, I hate the minting. That's such a scam. There are houses in Hungary that are cheaper than this card. Nice houses in Hungary that you can get cheaper than this. Like, let's check, um... Like, we're gonna... Let's, let's go for houses in, um... Buda... Kesi? Shut up. Uh, Budapest, we're gonna go for 3rd, 4th, 15th district. And, uh, Dunaharasti. Pest Meja. Okay, so this thing is 89,000. Oh, sorry. 89,000 pounds. Why has it without a sleeve? Probably for uh, insult to injury. Oh. Elado, yes. Okay. 89,000 pounds, so GBP to hoof. So let's say it's 90,000 pounds. Ninety one two three ninety thousand pounds. It is forty three million forint. 
So let's put a uh, fuck off. A max of forty three million foreign. These houses are for sale right now. They might not be the nicest houses. 41 million foreign. Okay, that doesn't show me the house. The inside looks lovely enough. I want to see the outside. Look at this dude. Big chunk of land. Oh god, needs a lot of renovations. Oh, Jesus. Okay, no, this is a bad example. Fuck. 30 million foreign? What do we get for this? Oh, it's one of these. Yeah, no. Train house? Yes, $100,000, yeah. Are all worth as much as a little piece of paper? What's wrong with us as a species? Uh, it's just that people will pay for whatever they think has value. And these people have given it this amount of value. And people will pay for it. So, anyway. Back to this, go. Mark! Do you have business with me, or...? If you're just gonna give me that attitude, I'm not even gonna tell you about how your sister sent me after she ventured into the belly of the beast. Exploded the belly of the beast and then went off to reestablish the relationship with your father. Anyway, I come with <laughs> her drawings. This is the house where my family lived before father died. Yes, your sister painted it herself, it seems. She's a good drawer. I couldn't see most of it because of my hat, though. It's not that I didn't know how my dear felt, but this is so rare. Time, I was so or do you, if you pull it, you can give it whatever price you want, because there are so little of them. Man. I wonder what happened to my cards. I think I... I don't remember. I think we just donated them to... I don't remember what happened with all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. One of their booster packs sold for 300. Oh, Jesus. I used to have a lot of Yu Gi Oh cards. Like, I used to have full binders. Like, binders full of their cards. I'm gonna ask my mom. Just asking them, Mom. Because I have a bunch of magic cards, but I don't remember what happened. Because I used to have a bunch of Yu Gi Oh cards. I used to collect them like crazy, dude. Up until Yu Gi Oh GX, I had so many of the cards. It was insane. I just don't remember what happened to them. Anyway, let's go back. Life is tough, what happened? You see, Marcia and I had an argument, and have been out of touch ever since. It was not long after our father's death that Queen Belandia completely destroyed our home. Well then. I wanted to leave our hometown and asked Marcia to come with me. But she said she would stay until the end. Mark made the sensible choice. Your town was dis your house, your town was destroyed by a giant magical sandworm that killed your dad and just swallowed the entirety of your house in one go. Yeah, you leave. If you're a simple human being, you fucking leave that thing in the middle of the desert and you let it roam there for the rest of its life, you come here to the lush, beautiful forests and just fight some fucking orcs instead. I didn't understand what was behind my feelings until I came here alone after our fight. <laughs> my mom doesn't know either. <laughs>
<laughs> My mom forgot as well. Rip. Yep, yeah, rip and pepperoni. Like, it... If she has one of those binders with some of my old cards, that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Of course, they're all the way in Guatemala, so I have absolutely no way of verifying. And chances are those cards would have rotted out because Guatemala is a super humid place. So, yeah, still fucking funny. I wasn't mad at Marcia. I was mad at myself. You were mad at the queen, dude. Like Marcia. I lacked the courage to confront Queen Belandir. Okay, dude, you are a normal ass human being. You saw a gigantic 100, 200 meter, 200, like 600 foot sandworm destroy everything. Yeah, the first thought a human being would have is like, I'm not fucking staying here. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I, I'm not gonna stand up to something like that. That's an overwhelming amount of force. We ain't got no jets here. We ain't got no X X F-16s. We ain't got no, like, um, AC-130s. We ain't got nothing like that. Fuck that! Let's get out of here! <laughs> I knew that a long time ago. I couldn't bring myself to reach out first. Being first can be difficult. But it's the best thing ever! I should write a letter to her before bed. Thank you for the good news. The Richhill siblings have been estranged since falling out nice. over the question of whether or not to leave their hometown. Upon seeing the photo, fish however, here? Mark Richhill understood what his sister was trying to say. We can fish here. Okay. He immediately set out to write her a heartfelt letter in reply. It seems reconciliation for the siblings might oh, wow. not be far off. Man, the conflict with the orc starts right here. Oh god, these are level 50. <laughs> We're not fucking with them just yet. We are not fucking with them. Uh, resistance contracts on the Purge Light Hill. Alright, so. We need 9,000 XP. Let's go do some side quests at the... At the place. Because this contract manager... Yeah, I'm too low. I'm too low level for this area. So, uh... What is this? Okay, we're good. Shit. Yeah, let's go here. Yeah, these are, like, level 50... Level 50... Oh, let's go down, uh, because I think the... What level is this area? 20 to 50. So if we go back down to the second floor... That's way too low. That's way too low level for us. Yeah, no. Oh, there's monster info here. Nice. Okay. How about the one at the desert, though? This one. Now this, this we can do. Let's go jump into the uh, ant nest. And let's see what we can get. What time is it? 9 p.m., okay. They might still be at my mom's house. So my, my Yu-Gi-Oh cards might still be at my mom's house. Might. Alright, let's jump in here. Um, Cause what other, what side quests do we have? Silius Abyss, Monolith Wastelands. Yeah, we have, we have some of these that we can do. Yeah, there's quite a few side quests we can do. Let's jump into this dungeon down here. Let's just see how much XP we can get. Let's see if we can actually do the things here. Okay, we got a peace zone. How much more time 
Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. No, we're 10 seconds down from this coming a, a conflict zone. And we're not doing that because conflict zone means PvP. And we ain't doing none of that shit just yet. Yep, there it is. It's a conflict zone now, so we're not we're not fucking with that. So, we're gonna do the side quest over here. Monolith Wastelands. Camel Exchange. Alright, let's go uh, over here. 3,000 gold. Eesh. Yeah, one of these days I must just go through like my magic cards and see how much they're worth. That'll be fun. All right, um, let's favor these. Let's just do the missions down here. So, quarrelsome merch. Oh, we're actually here for some of them. All right, we have to kill, uh, defeat flame fighter and acquire loot chest key. Okay. Shit. All right, let's uh, kill this guy. That was easy. <laughs> I thought we were gonna have to spend like I don't know, like an like an hour or so <laughs> grinding. Fuck off! Oh fuck off! Come on. Give me. No, we killed one guy, and that was enough to level us up. That was that was that was so stupid. All right, perception, excellent. Uh, and let's check our skills, because I don't think we got anything new here. No. No. Yeah, we already got these. These are already fully unlocked, and... Oh, the next one is level 40. And then... Oh, no, next one is level 39. Increase skill damage by 80, but increases all mana cost efficiency by 15. No, and granting health... Healing... Granting health recovery and regen to allies. It must be somewhere okay. over there. Anyway, uh, we can continue hey, with the... You trying to climb up here? Shut up. Uh, we did more of the battle pass, which we no longer need to do. So Leveling log, we got rewards. Like Very nice. And let's do the secret dungeon, actually. I want to see the, um... Place, like we Hall. did the warrior's cry. My bag fall somewhere. Let's do this one. The... Finding the python in the flames. Let's do this one. I want to see what we got for this. Mad Red Pyromancer. Oh, fuck off. I didn't even want to start it yet, but whatever. Oh, shit. Got stunned. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck you. There we go. Let's heal. Oh, is he doing the floor is lava? He's doing the floor is lava. Fucking stop! Get on it! I tried to climb the thing and it didn't let me! Anyway, let's heal. Alright. Let's, uh, curse you. Start with this. This and this. The lightning. There we go. Shit. Mm. So close. It's gonna hit me again. Do this one. Ah, oh, fuck off. There we go. Too far away. Oh. Come on. Ah, I keep not using it properly. The dodge. 
Big fireball. Lightning strikes twice. The other one. Okay. Let's go. Mm. Shit. Come on, go. Ah! I was looking at the thing. I was looking at the thing. I pressed the button. That's stupid. But at least I know. We're, we're gonna do, give this one more try. We were getting somewhere there. Come on. Return it. Return to sender. There was a shield. Okay, we dodged. Nice. Give you a little bit of uh, burn. There we go. All right. Where are you? There we go. Where's you? And big fireball. This one, this one, this one. Let's make it burn. Mm. Didn't I wasn't watching him, I was watching the cooldown. Come on. He's gonna die of burn, isn't he? No! Fireball! I don't care, we killed him. GG. GG. He died. Fucking. Alright. That's, that's, that, now that is set. Uh, let's go do the next things. Alright, there's uh, stuff up here, I think. Let's check. What have we got? What? Oh, that one. For a second I thought it was attacking me through the floor. Alright, the Sacred Resistance Soldier. What do you want? Wait, no, we don't need to do these anymore because we got the... Okay, we're not doing these anymore. We can go do the main story. Sanctuary o o o Oasis. Okay, let's go to the Moonlight Desert. Let's go to the uh, Sanctuary Oasis. Yeah, fuck this. I'm not doing this. There's an event going on right now. Not interested. Let's go. Leave the event behind. Ooh. Those things are... Ooh, 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 ooh. What do we have here? Hold on. Grudan. Hello. Golem Destruction Staff. Okay, uh, not interested, but glad to see that uh, that you sell these things. Very glad, yes. How do you swap these quiz slots? <sighs> like a little button for this. Happened? You can just press the button, but... Anyway, uh, let me go get the waypoint first, and then we're gonna continue for the... What was this? Okay. Never mind. So yeah, my mom is gonna tell me later if my Yu-Gi-Oh cards are still around. Because I don't remember getting rid of, rid of them. But I don't remember many things, so... Wizards combating this? the dark magic built a barrier magic circle at the Sanctum of Desire, resulting in the sudden appearance of a waterfall. 
Nice. This resulted in the creation of a small pond with water pristine enough to drink. Hmm. Naturally, it became a place of respite for desert merchants, as well as geographers and archaeologists during their expeditions. Bunch of nerds! <laughs> oh. I'll be right back. I need to use the bathroom. So, uh... Enjoy the soundtrack of the game, because I don't feel like, um, opening up the other stuff. So I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Uh, one moment, please. All right, I I am back. Let me just uh, plug my headphones back in. Let us continue. Where were we? Yes, we found this little hub with a uh, contract manager. Let's go check. Let me go check. I want to see what what this guy got. Can we even use these contracts? Let's see. You there. What contracts are you after? Yes, we can. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, what are, what are these? Worker spiders. Okay, I'm, I might check these out a little bit later. Let's, uh... Let's go do the, the thing here. Let's go talk to... Ki... Uh, Kaina. Kaina. Yeah. Very pretty. Very pretty. Very pretty oasis. Where's the waterfall? Where's the waterfall? Oh, there it is. Nice. The soundtrack, dude. What if something bad happened? What do you mean, what if something bad happened? Which one? Are you part of the resistance? If it's okay with you, can you help me? What's going on? We've been responding to abnormalities reported near the Sanctuary Oasis okay. at the request of a wizard from Venelux. Okay. I told my men to go do some research on an imp sighting not too long ago, but one of them, Lucas, hasn't returned yet. It's always somebody called Lucas or Steve. He's a recruit, and I'm worried that something bad might have happened to him. But I don't have the resources to investigate. Sounds easy enough! Thank you. Lucas went to investigate the deserted storage. Please help him come back safely. 
All right. Let's go, uh... Let's go do this. Let's go check on Lucas. And we're going into the Moonlight Desert. Are we? Is this the Moonlight Desert? Stones. I mean, there's a moon. There's light. These are and there's the a desert. Who collected the most tokens so far. Those in the highest rankings will be eligible to receive special rewards. Right, there's an event going on in this little area, which I'm not interested in. Yep. Yeah, I was not interested with the mana wastes. Mana wastes. Man, that's a weird, fucked up looking tree. Alright. There we go. Ooh, mine. Yeah! Alright, what have we got in here? Let's open the door and... Deserted storage. Implanters. Alright. Uh, let's blow you all up. Let's toss a miniature sign at you, if you don't mind. And some of this. And some of this. Lucas! What are you doing here, you silly sod? You saved my life. Kinda sent me here. Why do you look like you're about to go on a tour with a K-pop band? Thank you for coming. I was locked up in this place because imps were constantly pouring out from that fissure. I tried to defeat them to escape, but I just wasn't strong enough. I'll investigate the problem. Oh, the rift? You might run into imps. Be careful. Yep, we're running into imps. Get one shot, bitch. Dimensional rift. Nice. There's a fissure hanging midair. Judging by the imps that are rushing out of this place, it appears to be a portal leading to Diabolica. Legally distinct from Diablo. As you approach, the energy causing the fissure weakens in response to the power of the star fragment. It seems you can close the fissure by using the power of the star fragment. Close the fissure by using the power of the star fragment. We have closed the fissure by using the power of the star fragment. <laughs> Are you done investigating? I was able to seal the rift! Did you not see that? Y you sealed it? But, but how? I just did it in front of you! How? What do you mean, how? You just saw me do it! I knew you were special when I saw you fighting, but this is beyond my expectations. You find special? No more imps will be seen on this site. Let me escort you back to Kater to Kaina. That's all right. I have something else to investigate. I what? heard a rumor that some suspicious items were found near the abandoned tower. Maybe it's another imp spotting site, so I'm going to check it out. How about you get some rest? I'll go take a look at it. You'll investigate the abandoned tower for me? Yes. Oh, thanks so much. Keep an eye I'm not doing this for you. Suspicious. I'll head back to the Sanctuary Oasis and rest up. I'm not doing this for you. I'm getting whatever loot I can from there. <laughs> then you have on the other side. Fire, you should use my magic circle. It'll the help you. Okay. At the Sanctuary Oasis. Yeah. We're investigating the increasingly common impact. And we level up. Level 39. Lucas, nice. A new recruit found himself trapped in a warehouse by a stream of imps emerging uh, from the rift. Let's start bringing strength to level 20. At the request of Officer Kaina, you rescued him and sealed and the rift with the power of the And we got more skills. We unlocked fragments. these two. Okay, so... We're not really gonna enjoy these until level 40, so... Teleport magic circle! Let's go! To the tower! Ooh! Waypoint. Nice. Mine. What do we have here? The huge shipwreck visible from the Dawn Cliss is a constant mm -hmm. reminder of a dead pirate king's greed. Lovely. The wreckage's enormous hull and broad, torn red sails tell of the former glory of the ship's captain, the pirate king Adelico. What a stupid name. 
I am not apologizing. All right, uh, we're going there, 400, 500 meters away. Where are we? The Daybreak Shore, which is different from the Windhill Shores, because this one is to the east. All right, let's go. I should have picked up some contracts. Whatever. Hmm, we're running out of energy here. I don't just station. I love the names. So good. So good. I need to keep upgrading the abilities. Ooh, maybe I can use a um, transfer. Yes, yes, maybe. To transfer some of the power from... Actually, yes, let's go... Um, to a spot where they can't bother me. Speed things up. What have we got on this side? Okay, it looks like a safe enough spot. Let me just go open the skills. And if I say click on the, this. No. no, 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 bring it back. Swap. So. Hmm, how about, no, it might be this one then, that Fireball Barrage. Let's go to the same level, cannot be swapped. Inner piece. Oh, so you can swap the... Oh. The levels between the two, the progression between the two. That's a very interesting mechanic. That's a very interesting mechanic. What's the criteria, though? Salvation change. Post party member within range towards the user? No. Mm -hmm. Fountain of life. Special growth skill. Okay. What is this? Ray of Disaster. Makes the target with the user for 6 seconds and deal 16% base damage plus 10 damage to all targets on the path. Okay. I think the Meteor is what we're gonna really, really go for. So we can... Okay. Shit. And if we swap this... Not for high focus. Ice Spear Bombardment, then can we swap this with Ice Spear Bombardment? No. Hmm. Okay, so not ideal, but... Whatever. Alright, for now we're gonna keep it as is. We're gonna keep things as is. Charred Body. There's another player right there. This body is completely charred. It has a Shadow Mancer symbol tattooed on its skin. The skin is intact, suggesting that he was struck by black magic, not fire. Take a look around to see if there is any more evidence. Well then, how the fuck do we get up there? Do I have to skide in this? We have to skide in this, oh my god. Okay. Yeah. on. There we go. Burned parchment. It's a half-burned parchment. It must have fallen. It, it must have been fallen from the dead Shadowmancer's ball. Okay. There's a drawing of a sword stabbed deer on the front and some writing on the back. 
Light fire using the, the Gurgis oil to guide the demon. Stab a deer. Following sentence is illegible because of the suit. Yuki suspected the abandoned tower on Daybreak Shore of being another employer. You traveled there on behalf of the injured Lucas. There, okay. beneath the abandoned tower, you found the body of a shadow mancer and a parchment that had been charred oh black by dark magic. Okay. Burning with strong magic. When you extend your hand towards the center of the magic power, you feel responded to the power of your star fragment. Oh god. Are we getting instanced? Time travel. Shit. Shadow Master's book. The burnt parchment must have been ripped off from this book. This book is tight and clean. The front there's a drawing of the deer. Yeah. That fire gorgeous oil. Stab a deer. Born on the day of an eclipse with a sword that was forged for 66 days. And offer it to the altar. When the deer's blood was the altar, six summoners call the true name of the demon. Then the demon shall answer with the light that will destroy everything. Why do you want to destroy everything? Are we doing this? You investigate the sword, but nothing happens. You should find the Gurgis oil first. Gurgis oil jar. Yep, here we go. Looks like the oils you slide the fire on the altar. When you touch the pot, dark red energy flows towards the Shadow Mancer. Oil. Very bad idea. Lights up. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the second fire is going to be the deer bone. Let's get the one remains, but nothing happens. The book mentioned Gurgis oil, sword, and... Ah. Sword or sort of sword then, yeah. Mm, yep, energy, uh, dark energy flows towards the Shadow Mancer. There we go. Hmm. Flash. Open the door. Now the third altar, so now we get the deer bone. The touched wood rim, now the dark energy flows to the Shadow Mancer. And witness their ritual. Welcome with blood. Shit. Let's not climb the altar. Three flames are lighting the altar with the deer blood. When you touch the altar, the fourth flame appears with an ominous shadow. And the charred body says, charred body looks exactly the same as the one you saw in the tower. Yep. When you touch the body, yep. Let's see what happens. Because, like everything. Was I the uninvited guest? <laughs> Nothing happens when it's touched. Maybe it lost the power. Yep. Strange parchment. The spirit not at the demon. We call the true name. Reset. Yes, we summon with the innocent blood ancient. Yes. Come reset. We summon the rise of the hell. Come to us. The following sentence are hard to comprehend. This must be the magic spell that we used to summon at the, the demon. At the top of the abandoned tower, you touch the pedestal of the covenant, and a vision unfolded. Shit! I didn't mean. Showed a ritual being performed. And the demon Reseeth being summoned. Let's After try to press something else. Faded, the sealed demon scroll appeared. You should give it to Lucas. Anyway, let's go back to Lucas. For you at the sanctuary oasis. Oh god, we're still gonna be using the Guardian. Mm-hmm. I did not mean to. Oh well, it's not like we were using it actively, so... Lucas, you're not gonna believe what we found, my boy. You're not gonna believe this. There you are. Did you find something at the abandoned tower? Okay. So, uh... Here... Here's what happened, right? We found a body. It was completely burnt. But it wasn't fire, it was black magic. Then we climbed up the tower... And we traveled back in time. 
We witnessed the demonic summoning ritual that uh, Shadowmancers were carrying out. They were killing an innocent deer with a sword that was uh, 66 days old. And uh, the demon might have known that we were there and killed everyone. Oh, no. They summoned a demon? That's outrageous. What was the name of the demon? Reese. Reeseyeth. Please, tell others that a demon named Reeseyeth is here. My friend Ooh. Carton knows a lot of people, so please meet Carton. him. I'll talk to Kaina myself. There's someone called Carton. In this, they named some- someone named their kid Carton according to this world. Unbelievable. There's Carton. Señor Carton! Are you a tourist? Are you looking for special items or locations? Ask away. I will tell you everything that I know. How about you tell me about the demon Drissiet that has now been unleashed? What? A demon is here? Is that why the new wizard asked me about Grudron? Who is that? Grudron is a wandering crafter who knows this region well. Okay. He also knows about legends regarding demons. Ooh. I didn't know why the wizard was asking me about Grudron. But after hearing your news, I think he wanted to ask Grudron about this demon. Mm. Oh, this is no time for chit-chat. Please tell Norman this news. He will talk to the other villagers. I will talk to the tourists. Fucking tourists, okay. All right, let's a go talk to Norm. Here. Everyone, be careful! Huh? A demon? I could have done that, Norman. In case you didn't hear him. Hmm? Is there something you want to say? There's a demon around. A, a demon? A real demon is here, wandering around? That's what I just said. I can't believe this happened again. A again? How are we supposed to live in fear? Wait. Again? Did you know that demon Juniboat at the Sanctum of Desire was once a human? I heard he got his power from the demon of knowledge. Ooh. But for some reason, the demon of knowledge died, and Juniboat was hidden away in the Sanctum. Some people say it's just a legend, but I believe it really happened. It's not that out of this world. Uh, did you tell this news to the priestess? I... Didn't know there was a priestess, but I probably will. Look here. You should have told the priestess about this first. I don't know I'll the hierarchy of this place. Priestess. Go and tell the priestess as soon as you can. I don't fucking know your hierarchy, you fucking listen. communist. We have a demon in this area. <laughs> a demon? What in the world is going on? Pray to Abigail. Anna. You you seem very concerned. What is it? Hello there, uh legally distinct firekeeper from Dark Souls 3. Not to be confused by, uh, yeah, legally distinct from a firekeeper, Dark Souls 3. A demon is here. A demon is summoned? Ah, that's what everyone was talking about. So Elea was right to worry. And Elea is. Elea is a very famous wizard from Benelux. She came here. Lots of wizards from Benelux. The wizard thought that a demon might be the reason behind all these abnormalities happening in this area. So it has been that brought up before. She may know the solution to this situation. Please inform Alea that a demon has been summoned. I will inform the order about this news. So we've been At just Lucas's request. We're about to hit level 40 sanctuary just by talking to people around here. Summoning. This is hilarious. Princess Abigail suggested that you meet with Alea, a mage from Benelux. Alea has long suspected this is that really the funny. strange phenomena in the Mana Waste are of demonic origin. All right, Alea. Wait, you actually have astral force powers, so it brings you all the way over here. Let's slow down over here. We're talking about the demon first. Someone summoned a demon. Do you have any evidence? I have this paper here that says so. that's been used to summon a demon. 
Did you already know about this? Venelux thought all these abnormalities were signs of a demon to come, but I thought differently. I surmised a demon had already invaded our realm. Mm, she's very pretty. Demonic beasts usually lose their minds whenever demons are near. I didn't expect it would be Rhesia. Oh, this is much worse than I perceived. Well, maybe you shouldn't have perceived and you should analyze instead. Hmm? Aren't wizards supposed to be like super nerds or something? According to the ancient tome, Rhesiath is a high class demon who can disguise himself okay. as a human. It is possible that he may already be among us. He? It looked like a female. Disguise? How can we defeat this demon if it has a disguise, huh? Burning the snake's tongue compels the demon to flee. The purple incense scent is more than heavenly. Well, this is a phrase from an old poem. I believe the quote makes it easier to describe a demon's weakness. Elea, my dear, my, my dearest ray of sunshine, I asked you how to defeat a demon and you brought up a random poem. On top of that, your book is clipping through your uh, scroll over here, or your scroll is clipping through your book. Something tells me that I shouldn't trust your words. Adventurer, please talk to Grudron. God he damn. might be able to figure out the true meaning of this phrase and find out how to defeat the demon. So we're just going to go with the assumption that this random poem is right. Okay. Hmm. I will take a look at this summoning parchment. I might learn something more from it. <laughs> oh shit, this is far away. All right, we have to go to the Moonlight Oasis. Um... I think it's about the same distance, so let's uh, let's get going. <laughs> this is funny. Ooh. Turtles, residents, the waterfall. Oh, we're inside the place of the waterfall. Very nice. Wait, there's Grudrun. This is the guy we need to talk to. Need something to kill constructs. Did you come here to craft weapons? But it has to be at the oasis. Wrong, wrong one. It would have been so convenient, you know? So convenient. But no. But no. Can I? We could technically do our skills while doing this. this is incredible. Nice. Let me check my inventory. Nice. 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 Very nice. Yeah, we're just ignoring everything. There's Grudrun. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Oh, <laughs> not looking to make a weapon? <laughs> What can I do for you, then? I don't know how this happened, but I think I met your evil twin before because I tried talking to him and he wouldn't tell me anything. So, uh, Elia mentioned, uh, recited this poem, this random poem when I, thought, when, I told her, uh, when I told her about a demon that had been summoned. She just brought up this random poem and she said that you would be able to help me with it. Of course I do. This phrase about <laughs> exorcising demons, the snake tongue means a fully bloomed cremosa. Burning Excuse you? Bloomed cremosa will cause a purple smoke, and demons will flee when they get a sniff of it. That's why it's called the heavenly incense. Uh, sounds nice and all, but how do we acquire this cremosa? Cremosas are found in the raging wilds, but to get a fully bloomed cremosa, you will need the poison from tentacle desert flowers. Cremosas only bloom when they are touched with the poison. What an odd species of flower. But uh, why do you ask? Are you really going to fight the demon? Yes. 
You must be kidding me. <laughs> Regardless, I will give you a special sensor if you show me a fully bloomed cremosa. Dio. Alea, a wizard from level 40, there we go. Shared an old poem about demons. There we go, level 40. She asked you to meet Grudron, a knowledgeable traveling merchant. Additional, um, so let's bring ourselves. recognized the illusion in the poem. Because we can't told you that the build this any further. Fully open chromosas could ward off demons. I don't know why I can't level up my wisdom anymore, but let's bring our strength up. It's aim to get it to twenty, so we can get that uh, nice health. Uh, let's check our. We have access to the auction house. Mm hmm And this sells for... the actual... the Lucent and not Solent, it seems. Ooh. Man, these sell for... quite a bit. Man. This, uh... Is there really no... No, like, gold sales? It's only with the... Ooh, this is not good. Kind of makes sense, but... Wow. It's only with the Lucent and there's a tax rate. Oh. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, we're not going to check this right now. I want to check my skills. Because we unlocked the final slot of our passives. In this case, we can do... No. Increase skill damage by 80, but decrease all mana cost efficiency. We can, we can deal with mana cost efficiency. Cool. 133. Ooh, okay, so we might be able to level up these. I might want to wait for the Meteor, though, but it's 10 more levels, so I think in 10 levels we can get enough. So let's level up the Lightning. Bring it all the way to... 5. 5 green. All right. Uh, what other ones do we need? Okay, the shield. Let's get it up. Let's get it up higher, higher, higher. Mm hmm. Okay. Ooh. Okay. We're very close to level three. Nice. Level four. And level five. Cool. So, shield is pretty nice now. What else do we need that is not that well leveled? Nothing. So now we can actually start bringing these past uh, green. Meaning, let's get our... Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to move this here. And we're going to move... I'm going to put this one here. So that we can recover cooldowns and we can increase mana regen. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, okay, so we're slowly starting to shape things a little bit differently. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I'm just thinking right now. So I could... I'm going to check these over the weekend. Right now we're going to keep things as they are. Oh, Amitoy is done. Let's go check that out. Let me think here. No, oh, we might end this stream here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We might. Not entirely sure yet. Claim the reward. Very nice. And I'm going to set them for eight hours. Because I am getting exhausted for today. Let's see. 
And besides, I do want to go, you know, edit together the... Not, not edit together, but set up the video to upload on YouTube and everything. So, let me, um... Okay, so we have to go to the Raging Wilds, which is a level 41 or 42 area. And we have to go... Alright, let's make it to the next waypoint, to the Raging Wilds waypoint. And we take it from there. Need something to kill I'll make something. Man, we're already level 40. We've been playing this for, what, a week? And we're not even... We're not even half in the map. Nice. What was that? I want to kill that. Nice. Okay. Oh. Oh, he killed the other two. Shield up. Curse it again. This. And let's, uh... Let's go do this. Let's heal up. This might have been a mistake. Let's go here. Blow him up. Hey! Nice! We killed the big guy. Let's heal up. Nice. All right, we're going to go to... Um, I see a thing here. Let's go grab that first. Ow. Oh, they can pull you. It's kind of broken. Not really. What do we got here? Excuse you. There we go. Let's get this gigantic moonstone. Lovely. Oh, there's two. Nice. It's like the, the symbol didn't go, to, go away, so that's pretty nice for me, isn't it? Shit. Okay, these are annoying. I just want to reach the waypoint. I see it there. And I see a tree stump. Star tree. Come on. Chop it. Chop, chop. No wood, just worm bait. Okay. All right, tell me the lore of this place. This used to be a rich forest where elves and Mitrans lived. The elves invited Don't look humans like it into no their more. domain, but the humans, blinded by greed, started a war and ultimately torched the forest, reducing it to the wasteland it is today. Based. <laughs> oh shit, it reminds me of, um... Not Isengard. Which one was Sauron's, uh, Saruman's, uh, city? Was it Isengard? I don't think it was Isengard. Holy go. Do you mind? I'm trying to do my business here. There. Fully bloomed. Uh... Cremosa. Then we're gonna probably anger this one. Alright. There we go. And it dropped leather boots. <gasps> I love animals and the different drops. 
Alright, there we go. We might on that oasis. Speak with the construct crafter. Oh god, we have to go back to the oasis. Ooh. 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 Lots of moonstone here. Let's gather these. Let's grab something good, please. Mana steel. Good. Rare mana steel. Very nice. Very nice. But now we're gonna go back to the guy, and we might be better off just rushing, because I don't I don't think there was a waypoint towards that one. Okay, those were aggroed by somebody else. We're gonna grab there this moonstone. And I see maybe there's another one somewhere on here? I don't know. Anyway. I think that person is waiting for the mini boss to appear again. Alright, we ignore, we go straight for- Fuck off! <laughs> That's quite the range! Alright, let's go back to... Grudun? Grudrun? Grudrun. Grudrun. Alright. Let's go back to Mr. G. And let's see what we got. We might make it to level 41? <laughs> A fully bloomed cremosa. I found two, thank you very much. Hold on, where did I put my sensor? Oh, oh there it is. The sensor intensifies the fragrance and helps to spread the smoke. It is no use for me, so you can have it. I love how Reginald just looks like he's so done with this shit right now. <laughs> but that's just his resting, just just, just his resting face. Nice. Thrive in the raging wilds, but okay, we did not the poison get that. from the tentacle desert flower. You found the necessary flowers and sprayed their poison to open the cremosas. Hmm. When you returned with the open cremosas, Grudron placed the petals in a special Talk to Elea. Why is this person? Like, why is this person... Oh, I think it's from an allied guild. Yeah, 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 it's from one of the allied guilds. Okay, 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 okay. It makes sense, then. It makes sense. Because we have ally guilds. Is there anybody else online? From mine? No, I'm the only person online right now. Nice. I'm the only person online in the mini guild. In the mini guild. Nice. All right, Elea. Oh, back already? Any luck figuring out that poem? Grodron gave me the censor. Oh, good. We finally can figure out who the demon is. Try to use the censor on a person whom you suspect. <laughs> okay. Humans won't have much of a strong reaction to it, but a demon will try to flee when you show it to them. Hmm. Don't use it on just anyone, though. If the demon finds out what you're doing, you'd better escape before he can ever catch you. Are there any suspects? Hmm. The demons just started rearing their ugly heads recently. How about checking up on any new faces? There's that wandering merchant, for one thing. He says it's not a bad idea. That's a horrible idea. I just I just had to take this screenshot because uh legally distinct free rent over here is uh yeah. <laughs> Alright, Omid I haven't even started my business yet, and people already know that I'm here. 
Oh well. I mean, my wares are quite special, you see. I actually have a question for you. You're not here to buy my stuff. Then why did you talk to me? Does this... Does this sensor smell like chloroform to you? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, that's a unique sensor. Oh, and this incense is... Mm, such comforting fragrance. I would buy one of those if it was on sale. Uh, but hey, sorry, what was your query? Is there anyone else who arrived recently in this region? Why does it have to be one of the new guys, though? The demon has been here for a while. It could be, like, well-rooted in the, um, in the community. Oh, yeah, there was this new guy I know. Uh, his name was Rayton, I think. He came here on the same day I did. That's why I remember him. Rayton was assigned to a guard post. Try there if you want to talk to him. All right. Guard post. Guard post. Okay. Yeah, we're going up there. Uh. Oh god. So much trouble. Rayton! What is it? I'm on duty now. Tell me what you think of this sensor. Does this smell like chloroform to you? Uh, oh, a purple smoke. And I'm feeling weird. Uh, somewhat lethargic. Uh, it feels so nice and comforting. Oh, oh, I shouldn't fall asleep now. I'm on duty. I don't know what it is, but put it away right now. Huh. Anyone else in this region? Oh, Who's new? Uh, there is another recruit. His name is Lucas. He was injured recently and is off duty now. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. It all circles back. He was there at the very beginning. Oh. Oh, hello. I was preparing a report for Kaina. Yeah, he does he totally doesn't now look like a um... knows that there is a demon among us. Thank you for letting us know. Hey, real quick, does this admit... <laughs> Does it... I don't even know. <laughs> does this smell like chloroform tea? <laughs> Yuck! Oh, please, put that sensor away. What on earth are you burning? It smells awful. <laughs> oh. What the f I want to climb like that. Alea asked you to take the sensor and vanquish the demons hiding among the humans. Traveling merchant Ahmed, a new resistance member, oh, we up. liked the scent it made. Let me. Strangely, Lucas became mm. distraught and fled. Hurry to catch up with Lucas and discover the truth of his identity. All right, thirteen fifteen. Nice. How do I? Oh. Wait. This is the end of the road. Lucas must be behind this door. Lucas! Oh God. This was here all along. Lucas. Lucas, you need to go down to the belly of the beast and reestablish the relationship with your father. Hey, you're scaring me. Why are you following me? Why did you come here? I don't know where this is. You chased me, so I ran away and found a door in front of me. It seems like someone's library. Looks like a demon summoning circle. Reveal your true self. My true self? I'm only a new recruit. I can't even kill an imp on my own. Need to put my phone to charging up. Where's my, where's my fucking, my fucking K? Oh, fell down. Here it is. Hang on. Yeah. There we go. Kinda can vouch for me. Please, calm down. I know you are Rishith, the demon who killed those people in a tower. You're the only one who reacted to the sensor. <laughs> Put it away. Do not call me with that disgusting name. My name is Havras. I am the demon. 
Carverse. Okay. That just give you some lightning and some of this and some of this and some. Oh god, we got that. Uh... Shit, I had to attend to my alarm telling me that it's 10 p.m. Do I have to make him attack the uh, the hearts himself, or are those just decoration? Okay. Let's shit. Ah oh, fuck. Well, you ain't getting no more fucking power over here, dude. We'll get an electrocuted. I keep killing rats. <laughs> oh. I summon you. After much interrogation, the demon hiding within Lucas finally revealed itself. That was uh... to defeat it, but it was Havrez, the demon of knowledge. A lot easier. The demon of <laughs> That was a lot easier than I expected. Cool boss fight, but a lot easier than I expected. A bright floating orb is illuminating a painting on the wall. The painting has empty spaces in the middle. Maybe the orb's light can complete the picture. As written on the magic circle, you can you have to make a devil's shadow. Use the objects around you. Oh yeah, we dropped the sensor. Okay. All right, we have to find things. What is this? What is this? Fuck it. Stop! <laughs> it's a winged goat statue. You devil shadow with this statue worth a try. Uh, how about this? What is this? Angel statue playing the trumpet. I don't think you can. Oh, apparently you can. Uh, what is this? And it stop, stop climbing. Golden eagle, I don't think. Oh. Oh, so it's gonna. Goat statue. A hidden device can be heard moving through the wall. So it was the gold statue. Very straightforward. What do we got here? Journal number 14. <laughs> it's very dusty. It looks like no one has touched it in a long time. It records the m moment when the Demon of Knowledge was first summoned to this. I, lo I love that we immediately knew which book to go through. I love him MMOs. This human who summoned me is very interesting. His thirst for knowledge overtook his very own soul. His name is Juno Boat. He was willing Stupid to do name. anything to get any knowledge from me. He even spooned out his one eye and gave it to me as an offering. Holy shit. I gave him the knowledge of Diabolica, and he fell into the endless circle of self-questioning. I have kept my end of the bargain. Now, I am free. I like the VA's voice. The log... All right. Journal number 4776. This journal records the moment that the demon of knowledge met Rizieth. The demon hated Rizieth. Jealous humans of Juno Boat summoned an abhorrent being from the Diabolica for themselves. That greedy Rizieth invaded my domain to take all the star fragments, leaving me gravely wounded. I have to go back to Diabolica to heal. Otherwise, mm. this wound will dishonor my true name. So demons... Feuding. Once I recover, I swear I will get my revenge. I will rip Reseeth to shreds and feed the pieces to the dogs. I don't think... I mean, dogs will eat anything, so... 
Nice. And there's one more journal. Journal number 4803. A lot of empty pages. This looks like a journal that was only recently started. showed was the power from Silaveth. Maybe this is my chance. That persistent Reseeth always followed me whenever I moved my lair. Mm. I'm sure I was followed again. This time to this sanctuary oasis. This time I will strike first. Who would Reseeth be? I've narrowed down the suspects to three new people. Oh. Ahmed, a wandering merchant. Raiden, a resistance recruit. And Alea, a Venelux wizard. I suspect Alea, though. Ooh, that's quite the twist. The day she came, a murder of dead crows were found in this area. That's probably because. It's where the journal ends. For some reason, the demon stopped writing it. Padres, the demon of knowledge kept numerous journals huh. in his library. The journals revealed that he had been gravely wounded in a battle with Reseeth, and that Reseeth was pursuing him in human form. He was most suspicious of Elia, a mage who had recently nice. arrived from Benelux. Nice, nice, nice. I don't think we have anything for the skills. I think we get skill books. Um, yes. Looks weekend. yes. And I think we can start upgrading these a little bit more soon. For now, let's start getting the last of these. We haven't needed an inner piece. And I think if I ever need it, we will just use a potion. I think a potion will do just fine. Worst case scenario, I'm wrong. Increase the target skill damage resistance. Uh, this one, yeah. There we go. Exit library. I like this little twist. I like it. Alright, let's go talk to, uh... Deliver the information about the Demon of Knowledge, even though we suspect now that she is one of them. Nice. That's what I said, right? Like, what if the demon turns out to have been somebody that infiltrated a while ago? And I might have been right. Take a look around before you set Shut off. up. Where is she? Oh, at a time like this. Oh, all this. Demonic beasts are going crazy, and I can't. Huh? What brings you here? I'm here to see Alea. Have you seen her? I'm looking for her too. She's not here. Shit. I'm Olus. I'm a member of the Venelux investigation team. I think she's at the lab. I don't know when she'll come out. I mm. found a letter in her quarter, though. Maybe it was for you. Go ahead and take a look at it. Oh my. Where's the letter? Here's the letter. No, that's a mysterious book. Star of Silhouette. Nice. Uh, letter. Let's read the letter and then we're gonna call it a night. This letter was not here before. This must be from Malaya. She might have written it. And that's why it is here now. This means there is such a thing as object permanence. Some objects are here before. And some objects are not here before. This letter was not here before. Meaning somebody placed it there. Most likely after someone wrote it. Most likely, Elea, since this is Elea's letter. It turns out that I've got some important business that I need to take care of. Once you're done reading this letter, come meet me at the lab. I left behind a teleportation magic circle just for you. Find it by taking a look behind my quarters, Elea. Oh my. All right, let's do this and then calling it a night. Come on. Teleport magic circle. 
Very secretive. Ah, oh, Helea. How you doing? Oh, you're here. You've kept me waiting quite a while. Did you kill the demon? One of them. I see. You really did it. I'm impressed that you defeated Rithian. It wasn't. I killed uh, the demon of knowledge. Not Rithian. I <laughs> love that covers half the face. The demon of knowledge? That just isn't possible. The demon you met was Rithian. The demon of deceit. You don't. Don't you tell me what I saw! Here. This is the demon of knowledge's journal. I've already warned you not to listen to anything that demon might say to you. Don't you understand? I didn't listen. I read. Journal right where you found it to confuse you. It seems the demon of deceit is living up to its title. Harvest hmm. was here a hundred years ago. It's long since perished. The demon that you killed is known as Rhesieth. I have no reason to lie about that. Unless you are Rhesieth. How do you know the name, by the way? You're a stubborn one, aren't you? And yet, it was that stubbornness of yours which got you to kill Harvest, so I won't blame you. Oh no. Foolish human. Now that you're no longer of any use to us, us. I'll relieve you of that star fragment. No, it's mine. Does her armor have nipples? Yes, it does. Nice. No. No, it's mine. My star fragment. Just gonna throw lightning at all of you. Oh boy. Yes, I'm just gonna keep you keep you keep not moving. Okay, fireball. Invalid target. Fuck. Wrong one. That was for you in the hidden hole. While trying to avert suspicion, she made the mistake of mentioning Harvest. <gasps> oh. In the end, she revealed herself as Rhesieth and attacked you to get your star fragments. But I killed her. Boo hoo. Rhesieth, the demon of deceit, has been reduced to ashes. The chaos caused by demons seems to be over. Infinity Wheel. Let's get this flashback and wrap this up and then we call it a night. It's a good it's a good spot. We killed some demons. We just go ahead and kill some demons, One yeah. Stormy night. Six shadow mancers gathered atop a tower. Six. Very nice. Envious of Juniboat's demonic covenant. Mm-hmm. They summoned their own demon. Yep. <laughs> Rhesieth offered sweet words and whispered promises. No, they she killed, killed them each all. To win her favor. In the end, that's not what we the saw. The Shadow Mancer standing became a monster, unable to control her power. Mm -hmm. This attracted the attention of Havrez. As holder of Juniboat's okay. covenant, he attacked Rhesieth. I like to their depiction of the demons. Of all the star fragments in the mortal really cool. realm. Very Slaneshi. Havrez fled, disguising himself as a human. Rhesieth yep. then proceeded with her master plan to resurrect the demon goddess Sylveth. Now possessing the body of Venelux wizard Alea, Rhesieth has begun mm -hmm. the hunt for star fragments. Nice. Shadow Yet she failed. To gain power, demon Slayer. To Havrez, who was summoned over a hundred years earlier, was mortally nice. wounded in a battle with the other demon over the Oh, whoops. Okay, uh, and we can choose our final reward, which is pants! 
Nice. Okay, let's see. None of them have wisdom, though. So let's see. But they're considerably better. Mana region. Max health, max mana. Gonna go for the mana region, but we might not use them. Especially because we lose wisdom. No, we have to do something now. <laughs> Let's just talk to all this to um wrap this up. Adventurer, can you please help us? This is an emergency. I was going to ask Leia, but we don't have the time to wait anymore. So about Leia? One of my colleagues who are guarding the barrier contacted me. Saying they can't contain frenzied demonic beasts any longer. Whoopsie. Welcome, Crazy Nate. How you doing? We're we're gonna be wrapping up soon, but how you doing, man? Good to see you. The barrier will collapse if we don't do something about Welcome it. Welcome to Throne and Liberty. To the and help them protect the barrier. I may or may not do that. Thank you. The beasts in the mono wastes are very strong. Make sure you're ready for them. Okay. So that's the um. Participate and stop the Mana Frenzy at Mana Waste Deliver. And I think that's a an event, right? Yeah, stop the Mana Frenzy. It starts at midnight. So that's a timed event. I think that's a good place. Like, that's a good indicator for us to end uh, today's stream. This was really good. I'm really... In like, I'm even enjoying the little stories. Like, there's no grand overarching story yet. But I'm enjoying these, like, mini chapters that we're getting. I'm enjoying it. New Lario quest to find every part of this child, making them reconnect with their father. We just did that with a with a demon. We went into a um, cavern and we made her reestablish the relationship with her father. We also reacted to Asmongold's apology video, which is gonna go up on YouTube after the stream. Uh, speaking of. I'm gonna call it a night because I still need to split the video around and send it over to YouTube and everything. So that is going to be it for me today. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining me. This has been a very, very fun time. We've spent like an hour and a half just talking about Asmund Gold's thing. It was very, very good. Very good conversation. I appreciate it. Uh video is gonna go up on YouTube. And we will be back on Monday. Monday we're gonna have a jam and shred. And, uh, yeah, it's alright. I'm gonna sleep well tomorrow. I'm gonna head over to Vienna, so no stream tomorrow. We're gonna be back on Monday. We're gonna have a jam and shred. And we're gonna take back into... We're gonna jump straight back into spooky vibes. Uh, we're gonna continue Silent Hill 2. I'm gonna be most likely playing this game offline for a little bit. Like, I'm... Uh, or we might bounce back and forth between Silent Hill and this game. Like, we're not going to be just playing one game at a time. We're going to be playing actually some Silent Hill because I really, really want to continue Spooktober. We might continue. We're probably going to continue Throne and Liberty afterwards. We're going to figure something out. We're going to figure out a nice balance. Point is, Monday, 6 p.m. Central European time, Jab and Shred. You can check the schedule at twitch.tv slash jamesrbastard slash schedule, or you can join the Discord and check the announcements channel. With that being said, really fun times today. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining me. Thank you for the follows, for the subs, in general. I, I, I'm, I'm having a, I'm still getting used to, how to just saying this in general. But thank you, um, thank you for for the good times. I will be back on Monday. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining me. Have yourselves a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, and I will see you all next time. Good night, everybody. Goodbye.